Welcome, everybody, to round two of the College Championship Tournament. I'm Forrest Hunt, joined by Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, and we're all set for college basketball action here on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Texas Tech Red Raiders as they play against the Syracuse Orange. This isn't new territory for Syracuse. The Orange are a constant presence in the tournament, and with MP this year, they might have an ace up their sleeve. And Clark, what are you seeing with Texas Tech? Well, you know, so much of their offense comes from Wyatt Irvin and his ability to fill it up from outside. To slow them down, you're going to have to close out on every perimeter shot of his and hope that Irvin has an off night. Both of these teams have their sights set on a deep run. This is sure to be a thrilling second round contest. One thing that's been clear with MP ever since signing day, he goes his own way and he's in control of his own fate. Talking with MP, you can tell he's a real guy, authentic. Two points. Whatever path he chooses will be up to him, though. No outside influence is trying to guide him one way or the other. He's making the call. Here's MP. Terrific assist and nice finish. Solid play all around. And you can see the balance MP has, showing he can take contact and finish through it. And he's going for the oop here. For two, wide open. Here's Miller. Outside West. Miller. The outside Nelson puts up a three. Gets it to go from downtown. And this is how you want to start the ball game. Four for four from the field. Seems like they're right on point and can't miss. Pass to Evans. Rebounded by Montgomery. There wasn't much defensive resistance there, guys, but somehow he blew it anyway. Missed opportunity. The drive by MP. That's his fourth basket of the game. He's only taking four shots. Off to a really good start. MP staying focused that time through the contact. Excellent work on that drive. Something that many of these young guys are dealing with, Greg. The amount of nerves and anxiety you feel when you're playing the tournament game. It's more than a notion. It's a pressure you can't prepare for. The upperclassmen should be okay if they've been here before. But for freshmen and, and first-time tournament players, it can be overwhelming. Down low. Montgomery. Goes back up. Goes up again. MP with the block. Here's the three. And again, it's Syracuse with a three. And beginning to take charge of this game. This could be a crucial point. IQ basketball, smartphone basketball, whatever you want to call it. Even though the lead's not that large, they're still in charge right now. Now here is Evans. Pass to Irvin. Shoots over Starks. Irvin can't get it to go. Syracuse in the lead. And here's MP outside. Connects from three-point range. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do better. And this matchup between the one and the eight seed, it doesn't feel as one-sided as many do. You, you really feel like this is anyone's game. Good on the shot. And how about the commitment from MP following through on his shot and making sure to draw the contest. And with the eight seed and one seed dynamic you mentioned, rarely does an eight seed come in as hot as this one's been. And you knew one of the top seeds were going to have to deal with that. Still, when you're a number one seed, you need to find ways to survive in advance because that's what it's about this time of year. And the Red Raiders' calling card has been their high-efficiency defense. It's an aggressive, unique scheme that baffles opponents to no end. They're having trouble stopping this run. And the more trips they continue to come up empty, the more the pressure builds on them. And the ball out of play. The Orange will have it. And that's just another mistake. I mean, they, they've got it on autopilot, and they look totally dejected. And teams point out how quick Texas Tech is and how good they are at staying in front of people. They rally to the ball, which often gives up open threes. But their ability to react and close out 
prevents those threes from being open makes them exhausting to play against. Pass to Irvin. Blocked! And so it looks like the Red Raiders will retain possession. Puts it up off the inbound. And he connects with the jumper. It might be a lost art for some, but Livingston has that mid-range J in his arsenal. Boy, what a useful tool. The pass to Dean. Here's Jackson. He's guarded by Neely. Now here's Miller. And here's MP. Pulls up from 15. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on its way in. And you look at the ascension of the Red Raiders. 2018 was really their coming out year. They've won 27 games this regular season, earning a three seed. And it was the first year making the final eight in the tournament. Up ahead, knocks it loose. And so it looks like the Orange will retain possession here. They get some finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. Clearly a careless pass. He got away with one there. Goes up off the inbound, and that one's good. Jackson. They have been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. Well, you know, right from the tip, there's not anything they haven't done well so far. Now here's Evans. He's been patient so far, nothing yet on the scoreboard. Pass to Barry. Livingston. Left side, Neely. From the arc. The shot by Livingston, no good. Boy, just by his body language, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. And tonight has been all about MP. He, he's feeling it, looking like he belongs in the league. And stolen by MP. And he lays it straight in. I think they need to get much more disruptive defensively. They can't just keep allowing these easy baskets. That's got to be job number one right now. Nothing easy on the inside. You talk about programs on an upswing the last few years. Texas Tech is right at the top of that list, making the tournament four of the last six seasons. Dives for it. Now here is Evans, covered by MP. Now a timeout called by Texas Tech. And for the Red Raiders, recruits are starting to take notice. They're adding four-star prospects on the regular now, which gives them the firepower to maintain that momentum. Into the lineup for Syracuse. Substitution for Texas Tech. Evans, right side. Back to Urban. Shoots over Starks. Irvin can't get it to go. MP outside. West on the wing. Yes, and it's MP picking up the assist. And nice to see MP sharing the load out there. He finds a wide open man and gets a drop. And here's Irvin. Seven points in the game. Pass to Evans. Nixon. And here's Evans. Covered by MP. Three pointer. Evans gets the bucket. Derek Evans. And it's Syracuse's ball. Outside, West. Inside. And that one is good. MP. Defensively, I think they've got to do a better job of bodying them up. Clearly, they've been outclassed in the paint, really at both ends of the floor. Pass to Evans. Montgomery with four on the clock. Here's Butler. Well, off target with the three. And through what happened, hasn't even been close. It's the Orange opening up a huge gap.
And glad to have you back. Round two coverage of the college basketball tournament. Start of the second half in this one. And what do you make of the performance we saw from MP in the first half? These days, so much of a team scoring comes from the wings or the backcourt. He's flipped that script with an excellent first half. Good things happen when your young pivot is making sound decisions with the ball and executing at a high level. Here's MP, and he floats it in for an easy two. Credit the assist on that play. You can't allow MP to get inside position. I mean, he's more than capable of finishing from there. And MP throws it down. Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low post presence. Pass to Irvin. And it's Wyatt Irvin with the jam. How about Irvin with the emphatic slam? I mean, he's known as a laser on the perimeter, but showing he can take it to the cup, too. To the inside, MP. The shot's good. West making the play. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. To the middle. Here's Butler. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. First team foul. That one on Nelson. Texas Tech, Dexter Butler. Two shots. Good on both. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance we are seeing. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. And the foul called on MP. MP. That is his That's first his foul first of the game. Foul. Pass to Nixon. Urban up top. Here's Montgomery. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Miller. Here's the break. And the dunk by Nelson. And he can time his passes so perfectly. Wow, what an assist. Here's Nixon. Butler. The three-pointer off the mark. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those balls. Mark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. To the paint. Here's Montgomery. And that's out of bounds. Texas Tech will retain possession. Into the lineup for Syracuse, James Dennis, Homer Wolf, Johnny Dean, Brett Sanders. Substitution away. for the Red And Raiders. stolen by MP. And that one drops for him. Yeah, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why Syracuse they're on this foul. run. You get that MP. close to the hoop, that's and it's a lot easier foul. to make shots. Hey, watch work, watch work. Outside Holland. Go over, go over. Pass to Livingston. Back to Holland. Barry. Poked loose. We've just seen them make mistakes on back-to-back -back trips. But those turnovers could have been avoided. Careless mistakes. Absolutely. They've got to get a tighter handle on the ball. Boy, and another miscue leads to points. Squeeze the orange, fellas. Take care of the pumpkin. <laughs> Hard to recover defensively, though, when you're turning the ball over at this rate. Ball going up court, and the dunk by MP. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Texas Tech with the ball. Now Neely. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. Exactly. But at the other end, it's one bucket after the other. This run is getting out of hand right now. That makes it 10 of their last 12 points coming from inside the painted area. 
and really something that the defense has to address. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. And that goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And that sends MP to the free throw line. It goes on Evans. And the free throw, no good. And what you like about MP is his work ethic. The kid is hungry to get to the NBA. Timeout called, the Red Raiders. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the... Into the lineup for Syracuse. Substitution for the Red Raiders. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Substitution for the Red Raiders. Tyler Dentman. Sebastian And as the seconds tick by, this could end up being an upset. You knew one of the big seeds could go out early. This team was a popular pick in many brackets. You felt that MP and his team had all the momentum coming in. But anything can happen the rest of the way. And that one is good. MP. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, and now let's just keep an eye on how much longer they keep the foot on the accelerator. And you know what? This guy is just a natural born scorer. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Outside, West. Thanks for practice. Pass to Mills. Thanks for practice. Rogers. Thanks for practice. Here's Barry. Let's the three fly. Back to Mills. Rogers. And so the Syracuse Orange win and will move on. I thought they really asserted their dominance here in the second round. Please look pretty much unstoppable the entire game. And it looks to me like MP's found his groove. He's raising his game when the pressure's high. And that's a great sign for them as they get into the later rounds of this tournament. And that'll do it for us here tonight. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and myself, Forrest Hunt, we appreciate you tuning in to round two. Hope to see you for the next game. Welcome, folks. The college championship tourney is well underway. Alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony, this is Forrest Hunt, and we can't wait to get this third round going here. Only 16 teams remain now, and things are certainly getting interesting. Tonight, we'll see the Syracuse Orange as they play against the UCLA Bruins. Through two rounds, Syracuse has been relentless. I mean, you love how MP's game has been integrated into the team system. But for the Orangemen, it gets tougher from here. And what's your read on the Bruins, Greg? Well, you look at their defense, and it's anchored by perhaps the best shot blocker in the last five years in Khalil Wall. This team knows they can be more aggressive outside with a guy like Wall waiting to kind of clean up anyone's mistakes. And that strategy has served them well all season. And things are about to get underway. We will see who comes out on top. Well, watching him be play all season long. With the development he's shown, you figure he'll be a one-and-done player with this program. It makes sense with his level of skill. Here's MP. Khalil Wall with the block. No, sir. Do not test 
Khalil Wall, the best shot blocker in college basketball. And the foul called on MB. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Carter, and it's blocked by West. And talk to West, and you get a sense of how much pride this guy takes in his defense. That block will fire him up more than any play he makes on the other end. Now here's Kelly from 13. Here's Wall. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. Bell outside. Wall outside. Pass to Adams. The alertness pays off with a block from MB. That, that focus is something scouts are sure to notice. On defense, Syracuse. It's Kelly on the wing. He's guarded by Nelson. Well, MP and his team pulled off the major upset already. But they still have to take down a very talented four seed in their region. Carter outside. Pass to Wall. The 10 footer. That one a little long. athleticism on full display. When MP throws one down, it only increases his confidence. And as much as this region has been shaken up with the upset, there are still a ton of talented teams left alive. I could see any of the four teams from this region coming out of it. I mean, they've all been tested at different times during the season and have acquitted themselves well. But after the upset, you have to think MP and this school are the favorites to survive the weekend. Only one miss in the first five attempts, clearly feeling. Wall outside. Back to Bell. Stolen by West. Pass to Starks to the inside. MP. And he converts the layup. And you can see the balance MP has, showing he can take contact and finish school. And the foul called on MP. That's foul number two for him. Coming onto the floor for your Williams. Substitution for the Orange. Here's Starks. Inside. Back to MP. It's good, and he's now shooting six for seven. And after a huge upset like the one this team had in the second round, often they can relax a bit and take their foot off the pedal. If they do that, it could lead to a letdown game. Yeah, facing a four seed like this is a trap game after beating the one seed. You can't start playing like you've already faced your toughest test. All beating a one seed gets you is the bullseye being placed on your back. To the paint. Count that one has his seventh make in eight attempts. A scorching 86%. I think that was simply a case of MP wanting it more, winning the battle down low. West, good! Two points. Some defensive Sky breakdowns West. are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They've got to figure it out. Well, they've done a great job of getting into the middle of that defense and scoring in the paint. And that's why they're on this run. You get that close to the hoop, and it's a lot easier to make shots. Now here's Jones. Wall with it. Now guarded by MP. Looking to end the run. The shot comes out. So Syracuse will take it the other way. Right side west. Nice pass, led him perfectly to the rack for the layup. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. And here's UCLA. 
It's a 16-point game. And what we've seen from this team in the tournament, you get the feeling that MP is the true barometer for how they'll play. When he's engaged and clicking, this team looks unstoppable. But sometimes we'll see that cold stretch, and boy, as a group, they look lost. As of now, this team goes as far as MP takes them. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Wall with it. Unloads from 13 feet. Again, the miss by the Bruins. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. MP. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot, and it's really paid off of them during the run. Now here's Wall. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot, and he'll shoot two. And into the second weekend of the tournament. Plenty of teams alive, and you still have a wide open field. And as a player, I was never fortunate to make it to the second weekend. But most teams feel like they get a bit of a breather to reflect after the second round. Some teams can take big steps forward with their level of play as a result. And you look at the rim protection that Wall offers. No doubt he'll go very high in the NBA draft. The upside is just too much for teams to ignore. Miller. Back to MP. They double team MP. Here starts. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. At the line will be around. Eight of their last ten are coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. And stolen by MP. And the dunk Two by MP. MP. Well-rounded effort, and, and they show no signs of letting up. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Well, outside. Martin over Dean. Again, the miss by the Bruins. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. You know, at this level, you're always auditioning. It's a chance for MP to prove himself. Lots of scouts here tonight. No luck at the stripe this time. Second misses as well. Here's Martin, guarded by Dean. Pass to Sheldon. To halt the run. MP with the block. Soft touch off the glass. MP. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now, but still plenty of time left. Well, it's never a good idea to back off and ease up, and it doesn't look like that thought's even crossed their mind. I love it. MP. They just won't miss. I mean, this is incredible. Every single guy on their team Syracuse with the foul. absolute MP. Midas magic That's touch, third. shooting the lights out third here. Team foul. Shooting for UCLA, Michael Bell. He drops Taking the first one, shots. and he can gather himself now and try to make it two. He's perfect from the line this time. And through the first half, Second a pretty lopsided affair. The, the Orange will begin after a 10-minute halftime break. 24-51. And welcome back to our 2K Sports coverage of this college basketball tournament. We will get you out to the second half of this third-round matchup right now. And I got to ask, what do you think about MP's performance halfway through? For a young center, he's showing rare anticipation MP. skills, particularly as a shot blocker. Impressive. I feel like he's getting into people's heads. I mean, there's that sense that he's always lurking, and that changes your approach offensively. Now here's Wall. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by MP. From downtown, drains it from beyond the arc. And back to back threes for him. Defense is slacking off a little. You've got to respect that three, or she'll give up points in a hurry. Well, he wanted to return the favor there for that last three, but it just wasn't in the cards. Makes it off the glass. MP. And games like this 
prove MP is the real deal. He's getting any look he wants right now. Pass to Wall. And just miss after miss right now. Here's MP. That one goes in. Boy, well, it's been a great start MP. for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. They're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Fades. Stark scrubs the miss. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. Oh, for their first three attempts. And P drives in, and he uses the glass on the layup. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Substitution for Syracuse, James Dennis. Knocked loose. Outside Kelly. Bell to the middle. Wall. Beautiful dish. And the layup goes in. And despite Wall trying to contest inside, there have been a lot of finishes at the rim. They came in looking to challenge Wall. So far, it is paying off. And they really made him look silly. Bold game plan, but thus far, it's working. Really hard to be disappointed at the defensive effort there. MP just beating them with better offense. Carter outside. Pass to Kelly. Inside. MP with the block. Only 20% from the field to start this half. To me, it looks like their opponent may have made some nice adjustments. And the dunk by MP. A nice move there by MP. Showing a little finesse for a player of his age. And it's the Bruins ball. Carter outside. Bell. To the paint. Wall. And Khalil Wall with the stop. And here's Dennis. He's got six. Down low. And the officials call full tending, so they'll award the basket. Now into the lineup for UCLA. Substitution for Syracuse. Kelly, he's guarded by Nelson, and it's out of bounds to the Bruins as UCLA retains possession. So both teams making some changes here. Marcus Stanley. Now Bell. Adams outside. Stanley, here's Wall. Basket counts. Wall is such an intimidating player on both ends. Owns the key. And the orange with possession here. A nice shot by MP. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning. Two minutes remaining in the game. Not stopped. Two minutes. Here's Bell. Got a piece of it. From deep, MP. And again, it's Syracuse with a three. And no hesitation whatsoever. I like what MP takes and makes these quick shots. And Wall throws it down hard. Going all he can so far, but they still find themselves trailing. And here's MP outside, three sinks points. the three-pointer. Well, he's been doing it all night. Why not go back to him? And no let up in him either, guys. I mean, he wants to continue to expand that lead. And as long as he's the one taking the shot, that lead's going to expand. Wall, right side. That's tipped and stolen by Lane. To the inside. Here's MP. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And how about the commitment from the MP following through on his shot and making sure to draw the contact? Now here's Stanley. Pass the buckets. Here's Wall. 
And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. It's going to be on MP. You know, it's never easy to stop Wall inside. I mean, he uses his length well and forces defenders to foul him. And that's good as he hits both shots. Here's Lane. Here's MP. And the layup's good off the glass. MP. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. And it's Syracuse's ball. Puts it up. Again, the orange, good for two. And you can't allow MP to get inside position. I mean, he's more than capable of finishing from there. Got a piece of it, and stolen by MP. And MP throws it down. Wall with it, and stolen by MP. He lets it fly, and the Orange get another bucket right there. Boy, he's playing out of his head, nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now, and so far, no go. Cans it from downtown. And MP knows the scouts love to see your range, so he's always ready to flex it. And stolen by MP. And the dunk by MP. MP. Poked away. And stolen by MP. And so the Syracuse Orange win and will move on. Total domination in this round three matchup. Even once they had the game in hand, they did not let up at all. They continued to pile on. This run is still alive due in big part to MP. He wasn't afraid to put the team on his back tonight and take responsibility for keeping them in this tournament. Glad you could be with us for round three. That'll do it for us courtside. Along with my partners, Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, this is Forrest Hunt signing off. Hey folks, if you've been watching with us so far, you know how exceptional this tournament has been. We're down to eight teams. I'm Forrest Hunt alongside Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. Let's get to it. And tonight, we'll see the Syracuse Orange as they go up against the Michigan State Spartans. And we've seen the Orange get this far before, but not recently. And I'm, I'm sure they want to capitalize on this chance and are hoping MP has what it takes to get them to the next round. And Clark, how are you feeling about the Spartans? Well, I think you can safely say, say this is one of the toughest teams in the tournament. I mean, when you have a center like Chuck Way, I don't think any team is going to try to play bully ball with you. He's an imposing figure in the middle and really clogs up the paint with his size. Well, it certainly should be a fun regional finals as these teams fight to keep their championship dreams alive. And you watch the way MP is able to impact the game. He could be a special player someday. And he has that star quality to him. You just can't deny that. There's still a lot for him to polish with his game. But I foresee great things for him in his career. MP staying focused that time through the contact. Excellent work on that drive. And that'll be Michigan State's ball as it goes out of bounds. Spartans able to keep the ball here. Ball's knocked loose, and it's out of bounds. The Spartans able to retain possession here. Mills, he's guarded by Nelson. Back to Way. McLeod, pass to Lambert. 
Will it go? And he lays it up and in. And looking at the history of this Syracuse program, they make noise in March quite often. 25 times into the last 16. This is their 11th time in the national quarterfinals. Their style of play is conducive for success in the postseason. Now here's Hayward. Shoots over Starks. Hayward, no good. Take it away! And the dunk by MP. And the athleticism on full display. When MP throws one down, it only increases his confidence. Chuck Way on the wing. He can't get that one. And Syracuse will come the other way. Up the floor. And that was good. Nelson. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. And that's because the ball is looking for the best shot. And it's really paid off for them during the run. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. The defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. But it's much more effective. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. Outside Mills. Chuck Way on the wing. Count that bucket. And in the paint, he can be a monster, just forcing his way into that look. And for this team and MP, no matter what happens, this season can be viewed as a success. The run they've been on has been something else. A piece of it, and stolen by MP. Here's Miller, and it's slammed in by Miller. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Here they go. And MP throws it down. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. As you said, this already a great run for an eight seed. Many had them crashing out of the tournament early on. And this team, I thought, did a great job of blocking out all that noise. Even though they've already overachieved, they're still humble and hungry. They want to be the last team standing at the end of all of this, and they're giving themselves a chance to do just that. They're allowing a sky-high field goal percentage. That won't get it. <laughs> Not at all, Clark. You rarely see a team surrender points this easily. They have got to do that. Way gets the bucket. No surprise there now. Big time grown man move. Way getting physical inside. MP, he's covered by Way. They double-team MP. Miller. Outside for West. MP. They double him with Way. Fires from 14. And again, MP. And a regional final that few predicted with an eight seed going against the two seed. But both of these teams earned it with their play. Head for MP and his team. They are the lowest remaining seed left alive. To come out of this region would be the icing on the cake. But anything can happen. There's always a surprise or two in the tournament. And the Spartans call time here. Janelle Bush, Arthur O'Connor, Johnny Webb. Substitution for Syracuse. Here's McLeod, guarded by Dean. Here's Harvey. Something to touch off the glass. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Pass the Wolf. Down low. Here's the one on one. And it's blocked by Miller. And it's out of bounds. So the Spartans able to retain possession here. 23. Here's Bush. Back to Webb. And this game, the final game from this region. Overall, one of the more wild regions we've seen in the tournament. More upsets in this part of the bracket than any other 
getting out is no easy feat. My college team came up short in the regional final during my first tournament run. And no hesitation whatsoever. I, I like what MP takes and makes these quick shots. It's the friendly spin, and that one drops. And tonight has been all about MP. He, he's feeling it, looking like he belongs in the league. Inside, Miller. Yes, and it's MP picking up the assist. Another pass put right into the shooter's pocket, right in the shooting pocket for a terrific assist. They've done a lot of that today. And it's something we haven't seen much of at the opposite end of the floor. Michigan State, no good that time either. And it's Syracuse's ball. They lead by the largest margin of the game, 15 points. This late in the tournament, the last game in the region, you really start to feel the pressure and the excitement. They're one win away from punching their ticket to the semifinal. So he comes up empty, missing both. And for both of these teams, they are well aware of the stakes of this game. So many all-time great players never got a chance to play on the big stage. But it's both rare and lucky to make it to the semifinals. A shame only one of these teams can experience that. MP with the block. MP staying engaged, locked in on defense. That's something that pro Two scouts points. are always MP. looking for. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. Absolutely. I echo that sentiment. Their offense, their defense. I mean, it's all been terrific. And he gets it to go. He had his head on the swivel and was able to pick out the pass and get the assist. Pass to MP. They swipe it. Here's O'Connor. Here's McLeod. O'Connor. Here's Bush. Off the mark from 16 feet out. Here's MP. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Here's McLeod. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. Two and here's MP with the shot. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. And that's tough to master. MP with a pull up. And I tell you, NBA front offices are taking note. And you can. Now Mills. Passed away. MP with the block. Blocks it again. Fires from deep. And again, it's Syracuse with a three. Really hard to be disappointed at the defensive effort there. MP just beating them with better offense. And stolen by MP. And MP throws it down. So it's the Spartans now. Three-pointer, way. The rebound by the Orange. And they start the second half with three straight misses. Here's MP. From down in the low post, it goes. And you can see the balance MP has, showing he can take contact and finish through it. Passed away. Hayward. Mills. He's guarded by Nelson. To halt the run. MP with the block. It's a plus five advantage for them in the rebounding category after that board. Very steady with their work on the interior. Really a well-rounded effort overall. They are on fire right now. That's four straight mates. Knocks it loose. 
And the officials Goal call goaltending, so they'll award the basket. Almost got to that shot in time, but not quite. You can't touch the ball once it's on the way down. Here's Lambert. He's got seven. McLeod. Back to Lambert. The high post shot. Again, the miss by the Spartans. Boy, a rough start to the second half. Five straight clunkers. And here's MP outside. Bangs home the trifecta. You know, every NBA team is looking for dead-eye shooters from behind the arc. MP showing off his three-point range. Here's Harvey. Banked it up the glass. That pass into the paint. That is a work of art there. Dead on target. To the middle. Here's MP. And there it is for him. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point blank looks time and time again. Outside, Hayward. Pass to McLeod. Six on the shot clock. Here's Lambert. He can't get it to go. And it's the orange taking it the other way. MP, high post. Lambert on him. Basket counts. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working beautifully. It, it really is. Five out of six of their last field goals have come from the paint. And the foul called on MP. That'll be his second foul of the game. For your Spartans, Mason Weber, Arthur O'Connor, Johnny Webb. Substitution for Syracuse. And the officials signal the backcourt violation. Not careful there. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. Yeah, and the timing of it was bad, too. I mean, they're trying to cut down and cut into the lead. Just a tough, bad break there. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Here's McLeod. Pass to Webb. The inside. Here's Weber. They need this. Rejected by Dennis. James Dennis. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for your Spartans. And that one is. Coming on to the floor for your Spartans. Substitution for the Orange. At the line for your Spartans. Chuck Way. Boy, you look at Chuck Way, and he's got all the tools a big man needs. He's got a great build for the position, but I like his competitive fire as well. That's a good combination, folks. To the paint. It's intercepted. And so the Syracuse Orange win and That's will move on. What an emphatic win to reach the semis. Only two wins away now from the national championship. And they're actually playing their best basketball. And what a legendary performance from MP. He, he stepped up when it mattered most, and now he'll be leading his team into the semis. It'll be hard to stop what he did today, but you simply can't bet against MP after that game. And that's a wrap, folks. The bracket is heating up. Pleasure to have you for round four. This is Forrest Hunt with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony signing off. Peace.